Here's today's latest update from Ethiopia, Tigray and Oromia regions. Viewers, the Tigray army is in a reliable position to fulfill its duties given by the government fighter Gabre Tasad Khan. The Tigrayan army that was moving to Afar and Amhara regions to save the people of Tigray from genocide and man-made hunger has returned to Tigray by fulfilling their mission and giving priority to peace. Following this, the Fsasis group is lying on the media by pretending that the Tigray army has committed atrocities in Afar and Amhara regions. The fighter Gabre Tasad Khan who had an interview, has said that the Tigrayan army is a public and ethical worker. Gabre, the Fsasis group that was trying to enter Tigray after the Tigray army came to Tigray, has said that the Fsasis group has repeatedly tried to enter Tigray and has been in a high position as a priority for the Tigray army. To cover up the defeat of the Fsasid group and the moral failure of the people and to repeat another massacre. The award ceremony that was made to the high officials has said that the Ethiopian people should have been held accountable for the people of Ethiopia by handing over a lot of tanks and heavy weapons and destroying the Fsasid group Fsasid from Tigray to Debre Birhan should not be held accountable for the army award. At the end of the day, Gabriel has passed the message saying that the government of Tigray is going to liberate the unliberated areas of Tigray once and for all. We must strengthen our struggle to eradicate our enemies. Whereas it has been reported that the army of the dictator is yours has committed a lot of atrocities against innocent people in order to destroy the Arab nation. Fascist and invading forces has committed a crime of killing people of Tigray that has not been committed in any part of the world. One of the people of Iraq who have committed genocide by these forces. The army of the dictator Isias has killed more than 68 innocent people in order to destroy the Arab nation as a nation. Justice has been done for the innocent people who have been killed illegally. The victims of the attack that we talked about have spoken about the massacre that happened in the area by Sia's army. Mr. Tasfe, the coordinator of Arab Warida and the head of the Eastern Zone. The secretary of the Fascist group and the dictator Sia's have declared that they have committed genocide on the people of Tigray. These enemies of the Tigray people are not going to sleep unless the people of Tigray are destroyed as a people so they have said that. They should be the only option to fight against the genocide they are committing on the people of Tigray. On the other hand, according to the Oromia sources, a press released by the Oromia politics who were released from prison. We were imprisoned for 18 months and we were arrested for crime. I believe we were arrested for politics when they saw that they could not succeed in peace politics. They plan to go to jail. We are sorry about the events. Before we closed the country, we have warned about what happened before and the result is today. We are calling on everyone. To participate so that the war that are going on in the country will end the discussion. Government of whoever is part of the war, we request that they give us a chance to end the discussion. Anyone who want the peace of the country of or those who are in the country should think or those who are outside the country should take line share. I am calling on everyone to not be part of the ongoing war and to be part of the peace. The five killings of should be investigated seriously not uh, politics. 
people jailed for politics should be released all the people arrested after the change we will continue from here searching for the rights of our nation and other oppressed nations so that we can live together in peace and equality so ever this is the latest update about it for more latest report please subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching